Of the 10 episodes in the book, which ones do you like most? Well, I think that one that I really enjoyed very much discovering, in, in a sense, and then writing, was his first um, encounter with his, with his uh, cousin Maria Barbara, that became his wife after a while, after some time. Maria Barbara actually uh, joined him, the way I put it, but uh, I think there are enough reasons to believe that this is pretty close to, to what really happened. She joined him in, in, a, in the church while she was uh, practicing on the organ, and after a while they sort of uh, disappeared in the back of the church, and there there was a rather hot uh, sexual event which costed a lot to Bach because um, one of the reasons why he was chased out of uh, the city of Amstad was that he was behaving improperly with uh, women in the church and um, later on he married Barbara but I uh, enjoyed very much thinking of Bach this great man in a, involved in a kind of uh, very young and very emotional uh, a passionate event of this kind. Another one which I liked very much, jumping to the end of the book, is when he was um, had surgical treatment to his eyes. It is well known that he was becoming nearly blind before he, he died and so he had a surgeon come from England, I think his name was Taylor, who had already made surgery on uh, Handel and Handel was very happy and so Bach wanted to also have the same kind of surgery and uh, instead in his case it was a disaster, he was made completely blind. Mm -hmm. Then another story when he was at the court of um, Willem Ernst in Weimar and he sort of, he was very unhappy with this duke because this duke was a, a bigot, a Lutheran bigot and so he was trying to uh, get a job elsewhere and this duke discovered he was, he, he was trying to get away and he put him in jail. Bach spent one month in jail, maybe not real jail but in any case his freedom was taken off from him. So this was another part of it. All these are true facts, I mean history tells us this is so but I may put a little more coloring in these stories to make them more appealing to the reader that doesn't want to read a heavy, uh, boring biography and rather looks for bright spots in, in, the, st in the story. Then, um, we, well, maybe I already mentioned enough. As we have referred to Wilhelm Ernst, uh, maybe I would like to read a few lines when he was at the court of Wilhelm Ernst um, in Weimar. He happened to be teaching music to a nephew of the Duke, a young man, poor young man because he was seriously, seriously ill and um, he was teaching, uh, he was using music coming from France and from Italy and the, the old Duke, as a bigot as he was, he wanted only then to deal with religious music. So there was a, often arguments and Bach had to really fight against this duke in various occasions on behalf of the young nephew who didn't have much strength also physically because he was seriously ill. he died about two years later uh, so uh, there, there was an occasion when they I like to read this because it has to do with Holland and uh, there was a moment when they were all in, in, in a room and uh, a, another musician at the court was saying, I read this in Italian and maybe then you uh, see what to do later on uh, with, a, with a Dutch translation presume. So this uh, musician um, that was there at the court, a person of lower level in a sense, says Personalmente tengo in assai poca considerazione anche le composizioni frivole degli italiani, quelle poc'anzi lodate dal signor Bach, in vero con troppa benevolenza, o quelle dei francesi, pompose e prive di austerità, i Lully, i Rameau, tutti incuranti di finalità morali. Se gli inglesi non si dessero tanta 
chiedo scusa, se gli olandesi non si dessero tanta pena a pubblicarle, forse eviteremmo di esserne sommersi. Il duca risponde, quel paese è una fonte di corruzione, non un dipinto religioso, non uno scritto mistico, soltanto musica profana e tutte le licenze sono permesse, arrivano a suonare i concerti di Corelli sugli organi delle chiese. Alle parole categoriche del duca, il giovane Johann Ernst, il nipote del duca, che ora sedeva su una sedia in circolo con gli altri, ebbe un sussulto. Perché il duca zio Calunnia, senza averlo conosciuto, un paese che io tanto amo, i tedeschi farebbero bene invece a guardare all'Olanda come a un esempio di civiltà. Ecco, mi fermo qui perché altrimenti il discorso diventa troppo complicato. Mm. Però è interessante, it is quite interesting to realize that uh, in Europe at the time there were so many Um, so many obstacles put by the churches, Catholic or Lutheran or whatever it was, to the publication of um, open-minded, uh, innovative uh, work, whether it was art or whether it was music or whether it was uh, science, like in the case of Galileo. Everybody knows the problems he had to try to publish uh, new, new ideas and so on. Well, The, Holland was always available for these publications to be actually appearing in their original language, by the way. If I think of Galileo's discourses, when after Galileo was condemned by, and, and, and made uh, his, his uh, abjuration, it was published in Italian by Elsevier, Elsevier pub publish, Publishers. And this is, in my opinion, a very interesting fact. This was because, of course, uh, Holland was uh, very open-minded, uh, having so many international uh, connections. You know, it's, it, it's, there is a lot of art, for instance, in, in Holland, which is not so true for Germany. <laughs>